Hey guys, Courtney here with Courtney's Customs and today I am participating in the Ugly Christmas Sweater Collab and I just think that is so funny and cool and I'm super excited and really, really thankful to be a part of it. Also, I'm going to have everybody's links down in my description who are participating in this collab so y'all can get to their videos super easy. For this tumbler, I am using a 25 ounce Skinny Straight Duo from Stainless Depot. I'll put the link in the description. This is actually one from a previous video where I showed you guys that I stripped the tumbler. Um, so now, not only am I using it for this collab, but I'm going to show you all that a stripped tumbler like this can be reused. So first, before I start, I'm going to show you guys a picture of the ugly Christmas sweater that I have chosen for my inspiration. love that it's very non-traditional. It says sleigh all day, which is so funny. And I am super excited. So the first thing I'm going to do is sand this down really, really good and get it prepped for a layer of spray paint. Now I'm going to take some 91% rubbing alcohol and spray just a little bit on a paper towel and go over this to clean up all of that like dust that sanding left over. So now I'm going to take this outside and spray paint it black from Rust-Oleum and come in and show you guys what I'm going to do next. So now that the paint is dry, only thing I'm going to do, I'm not going to add any glitter or anything like that, but I am going to give it some sparkle. I'm going to pop it on my turner back here from Bama Cups and add some Helix into my epoxy. Helix is an epoxy additive from the Glitter Grind and it looks really silver when it's in like the container, um, but it just, it doesn't really give your tumbler any like color, it just makes it sparkle. All right, so it's the next day and everything is perfectly smooth. It looks like I put some black glitter on the tumbler, but it's really just that Helix from the Glitter Grind adding some sparkle to the paint. So now what I have cut out so far is this little decal. It says Slay All Day. This is just one of the fonts that was in Cricut Design Space. I typed it out on my own. And I cut out a bunch of these thin stripes. I don't know if you can really tell. It looks really dark on camera, but it's like a dark green. So what I'm going to do first is add the Slay All Day decal and then add the green striping down the tumbler to kind of give myself a guide as to how big I need to print out those little Christmas trees. Um stockings and mistletoe decals. some candy canes, stockings, and then the little like dots of the mistletoe. And then over here I have the stars for the tree. So it's going to be very tedious, but I'm going to just kind of pattern all around this tumbler to kind of fill in all of the dead spaces and um, see if I can replicate this ugly sweater. Thank you. 
now I'm going to pop this on my turner back here from Bam and Cups, add two coats of epoxy, and come back to show you the finished result. So here it is in all of its ugly Christmas sweater glory. It is finished. It was very time consuming. And you know, I mean, it's an ugly Christmas sweater cup, but I mean, it's not that ugly, right? Before I go, I do have y'all's cup of positivity for the day. And today's quote is, just don't give up trying to do what you really want to do. Where there is love and inspiration, I don't think you can go wrong. That was said by Ella Fitzgerald. That's all I have for you guys today. Remember, down in my description, I'm going to have links to the other channels with the videos in this collaboration, so make sure you go check those out as well. And like always, if y'all have any questions, please feel free to comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Be kind, love one another, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!